Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. One. Oh. One. I am your host. Your ghost host. <laughs> West Troop. And uh, we are back this week with another history episode. Well, where are we headed to in our time-traveling doom buggy this time? That would be Disneyland 1957 is where we left off, and we're going to keep going because, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a little, a little hungry. We're going to talk about Don DeFore's Silver Banjo Barbecue. <laughs> Back in Disneyland's early days, the go-to place for some great barbecue spare ribs was Don DeFore's Silver Banjo Barbecue. After the park opened, Walt was looking to open a few more food establishments and ended up calling his friend Don DeFore to ask him if he'd like to run a restaurant in the Frontierland section of the park. DeFore was best known for his role as Thorny Thornberry on the show The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, as well as George Baxter on the show Hazel, and he also appeared in over 90 movies. Don thought that about Walt's offer and agreed to running a restaurant at Disneyland. Don and his younger brother, Vern, began taking a 45-hour business management class at UCLA at nighttime. The DeFores passed the class and were awarded a graduation certificate on June 5, 1957. Their restaurant, named Don DeFores Silver Banjo Barbecue, officially began serving guests on June 15, 1957. The Silver Banjo Barbecue took over the space the original Casa de Fritos restaurant inhabited before moving over to a different area of Frontierland. It was located next to another very popular restaurant, Aunt Jemima's Pancake House, which of course we talked about in a prior episode. The area back then was known as a little section called New Orleans Street, not to be confused with New Orleans Square, which would come years later. The Silver Banjo Barbecue was actually the only establishment at Disneyland to display the name of a non-fictional person and the only business ever to be owned by an individual in the park. Don DeFore took on the role as the proprietor of the establishment, while Vern took on the duties of manager. The main draw of the restaurant were its complete plate dinners, which included chicken or spare ribs, and uh, the meals themselves included barbecue baked beans, french fries, coleslaw, a roll with butter, and a beverage. Sandwiches were also popular choices, and you could choose from ham, beef, pork, or a combination which came with coleslaw. If you felt like something a little different, you could order the fish and chips, which were served with the restaurant's signature barbecue sauce, or tartar sauce. The restaurant was cafeteria style, with a cashier at the end of the line. Most of the seating was outside, with a large number of tables, but there were also a few tables inside near the jukebox. Walt himself loved eating at the Silver Banjo with Don and his family, and it was one of his favorite spots in the park, with the view of Tom Sawyer Island, the sailing ship Columbia, and the Dixieland jazz music. Unfortunately, Don DeFore's Silver Banjo Barbecue closed up shop in 1961 to allow Aunt Jemima's Pancake House to expand. Today, the area is known as the popular restaurant, the Riverbell Terrace. While the Silver Banjo Barbecue is long gone, it's nice to see its spirit lives on in the other Frontierland restaurants, which serve similar menu items. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another history episode very soon, as well as another trending topic show where we'll talk about what's going down in the Disney parks. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Hitcho Show. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hitcho Show. Follow on the Twitter at Hitcho Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, you can do so over on Podbean, HitchoShow.podbean.com, or search under West Troop or the Hitchhiking Host Show on Stitcher or iTunes. Until next time, don't forget to. for the next episode.
See ya.